and you're wondering why you're not growing on Instagram, and I'm gonna tell you and break it down in this video because apparently my other videos haven't helped you. So there's one main thing that's gonna stop you from growing, and I'm gonna break it down in this video. I'm not gonna give opinions, I'm not gonna have fun and games in this one. It's gonna be teaching, so grab a pen and paper. What's going on guys, Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies that are gonna help transform that passion for making music into a legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. Now one crucial, fatal mistake that I see a lot of you guys making over on Instagram is the exact reason why we turned the camera on today to do this video. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So one thing that a lot of you guys aren't understanding the importance of is the good old Instagram bio. I read a book a couple years ago called Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, great book. I'll have it in the description box below. And the whole purpose and premise of Blink is that you only have one chance to get a first impression. You can't go back and buy another one or get a redo, right? The first three seconds of any interaction over on Instagram or any of your social profiles for that matter are the most important because the, the person who is discovering your profile needs to make that determinating factor of whether or not you're worth following, you're worth liking and, and, and engaging with and investing their time in. We think that social media is all about us, right? What we like to post, what we like, what we comment on, our friends and our family, I get that 100%. But if you're a music creator, if you wanna build a music business within the music industry, we have to start looking at things like this like you're a business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give an, an, an example, old school style, drawn on here. I'm not gonna have any pop-ups or anything special, but this is what we need to teach from. Now this is gonna be based on having a business profile on Instagram, however, it's very similar with a creator profile and for the most part it's the same when it comes to a personal profile. So the number one thing that we're going to be able to see first on a mobile phone especially is the person's username. What is your username? Your at name, right? So mine is at Adam Ivy. That's what you would see at the top here. Now the second thing down here is a profile name. I need you to understand that the profile name and the username are two different things. For instance, the profile name could be Adam Ivy, but I could also hack the system and write music marketing. I could also hack the system and write marketing specialist, right? Or marketing and promotions, whatever, because when people are searching that term, this is what's going to show up. My name on top of the username both show up. Try it right now. Type in professional bodybuilder, uh, professional photographer. You're going to see a lot of profiles with somebody's name and then instead of their name, they're going to have that term, that search term. So just hack into the system a little bit. Now, what we see right here is what's going to gain people's attention immediately. What is this? This is the profile photo. Profile photo needs to be a professional image, a professional I'm talking about perception here, guys. So when you go down your uh, notifications and somebody's liking or following or uh, engaging, leaving a comment on your, your stuff, you know, at least I do, that there's going to be people that catch your attention. Some of you guys catch my attention over on Instagram. Why? Because you have a photo, you have a face, you have something that's professional. Maybe you have your, your body and your face cut out with just a bright background behind it. In fact, right now, what I'll do is I'll pop up on the screen. I know I thought I wasn't gonna do pop-ups, but technology, right? I'm gonna pop up maybe five or 10 different profile photos that I really like that have gained my attention uh, in the last two weeks. So you see them? You see what I'm talking about? They have a professional image. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show the follower count for all of those that I have up on the screen. Kind of surprising that some of these people aren't huge accounts, right? Because they look professional. Now, this is going to gain their attention. So what I would suggest doing is whether it's with a phone, whether you have a friend that has a DSLR, maybe you go on Craigslist or Facebook, market, Facebook Marketplace and ask like, hey, who's doing photography? Who's doing portraits? Who's doing, maybe somebody's trying to learn and they're gonna offer that for free, cheap or inexpensively. We can all have a professional photo if we just try because this profile photo is gonna gain a lot more attention than that profile photo. You see what I'm saying? I hope so. Now, the second thing that most people understand uh, when it comes to the platform now, if they're an active user, is this little ring around here. You know what? I got purple, let's draw it. This little ring around here is usually purple and orange. I'm not looking at the app right now, so I apologize if it's not accurate, but I'm gonna go purple and red. When you load up somebody's profile and you see that, that means that they have Instagram stories that then if you tap this, 
it's going to open those up and you're going to see what they're doing right now, their activity. So when you look at this, the profile photo pulls you in. What are they doing? They're active clearly, even if you don't look at their story, but what else? Clearly going to see the posts and the followers and the following, but does that really matter? These don't matter that much unless it's social proof because social proof represents other people are kind of on the wave. Other people are, you know, following this person, supporting this person. So this is the one right here that makes the biggest difference. If you go and land on someone's profile and they have two posts, if they have six posts, you're not going to take them as serious. If all of the squares down here have four, you're not going to subscribe to them because they're a TV channel that doesn't have any shows. And we've talked about that here on the, ch on the channel before. So I'm not going to jump into that, but your posts matter. Be consistent, have at least nine to 12 posts before you're going out and trying to promote yourself because people need to be able to understand that they can trust you to create more contact followers and following. I really don't think it matters that much. The only thing I would jump in and just leave a little side note is that if you're following four times as many people that are following you, it doesn't look really professional. If you're trying to do the follow one follow thing, it's going to get you banned. It's going to get you shadow banned. It's going to not really help you. So I personally don't recommend the whole follow one follow thing unless you're really not trying to grow because those people that end up following you back and then you unfollow them, they're not really going to be a high quality fan or follower and they'll never turn into a fan very low percentage of conversion there. Now, what else are we talking about here? So you have a professional profile photo. You have Instagram stories on a regular. Now the profile name, as I mentioned earlier in this video is very important and it can be you, it can be a search term. It can be whatever you feel really categorizes you. And in fact, categor categorization comes into place here as well. So as a business page or a creator page, in when you're setting that up, you can choose if you're a photographer or a public figure or whatever, and that would be down here, but it really doesn't make much of a difference when it comes to this. So I'm talking about the structuring and the development of your profile bio. What we need to do next is have this section right here full of a few things. Now take notes. First and foremost, who are you? What do you do? I'm not talking about long form sentences here. I'm talking about keywords, long tail keywords. What's a long tail keyword? So a keyword would be producer, one word, just a word. Now long tail keyword would be uh, hip hop producer, uh, trap and urban producer, something like that where it's a long tail, it's longer, you're right? It's more of a, it's close to a sentence structure without being a full blown sentence. You're not gonna say, I'm a music producer and I like to rap on the side. That's not a long tail keyword. And if it is, it's a God awful one. So what we wanna do here is we wanna do keywords. You can also go in and do hashtags here, but I don't recommend doing a ton of hashtags. So like one to two hashtags, I'll just make a note of this if you're having to keep up with me because I know I talk quickly. All right, so what do people need to know now? They know what you do, they know what your professional persona is. If you're a music producer, you're a music producer. If you are a chiropractor, you're a chiropractor. If you're a bodybuilder, a photographer, a cook, that's what you put here. Immediately, they should understand who you are, what you represent. Now from here, you can put a little bit of quirk in what you're interested in. Maybe this is what you do, maybe you're a producer, maybe you also have a business. So for instance, you could say something like, be the founder of your biz. One thing that's super important to catch somebody's attention, make it fun, make it engaging is using emojis. So how what I'm going to write here. I don't know why I made that lowercase follow along with me. So you can use emojis here, here, here. Here's a good example right now. Put it up on the screen. You see how that makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. I think that these, profiles are the ones that are getting most engagement because not only is it boom, 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 these emojis act as if it's a bullet point type situation. So, okay. Producer Toronto likes to cook, has a family call to action. So that's what we're going to work down to now on a business profile, as well as I believe a creative profile right here is going to be the location. It's going to show like I'm from Orlando, Florida. So on mine, if you're on your phone, it might show Orlando, Florida. If you're from Toronto or Boise, Idaho or wherever, it's going to show there. So you don't have to add that there, but 
if it's part of your location, if it's part of your industry, if it's part of your identity, then put it there. If, if you have a little icon and you're from Toronto, put that there. Maybe even do hashtag Toronto because people in your area might be looking for producers in Toronto to link up with face-to-face. -face. Maybe there's networking opportunities. Ugh, really should have drank some water before this video. Anyway, what we wanna do as a business owner, who you are, what you represent, a little bit of personality behind it, ultimately leading to their attention going to this. What is it? Call to action. Or AKA a CTA. So what a call to action is, is just that. It's a call to someone taking an action. So if you saw this, for instance, I'll just do a really quick rundown of a chiropractor. So let's say that my name is Jim Johnson right here. I'm a chiropractor from Toronto. I'd say chiropractor uh, back adjustments, right, for the hashtag, something that people might be looking up. I might be founder of Johnson Chiropractic. Um, right here, I might tell a little bit about myself uh, in business for 14 years. And then the call to action would be apply for a free adjustment. Check out videos of past adjustments. At, uh, listen to what my clients have to say. These different things that are not only gonna provide value to your viewer, but they're also going to make someone more comfortable with you once they understand that, oh, okay, this is what this guy represents. Okay, I wanted to know more about him and he told me exactly where to go so I don't have to waste time searching. You wanna go from them discovering you to them becoming a fan, them becoming a supporter, not just somebody that clicks follow and never engages with your stuff or uses the fire emoji as I use in a lot of my videos. This is important when they discover you, see you, know what you're about, do what you want them to do in a persuasive way, not a malicious way. Keep that in mind. Telling people what to do in a marketing sense is not scammy, is not malicious unless you make it malicious. So from there, they should go to a website, they should go to a link. Instagram gives you the opportunity to add a link here. And a lot of you guys don't even have a link to anything relevant. You have a link to a song that you released on SoundCloud three years ago. Seriously, dude? Yeah, I'm glad you're learning too. So the call to action could be like, hey, check out my link tree. Now link tree, I'm not associated with any of them. There's a lot of different services that'll do it. What a link tree will do, will give you the opportunity to add maybe your YouTube channel and your SoundCloud or your Spotify song or whatever. You can add whatever you want. That's the great thing about it. If you have an Etsy or a LinkedIn or whatever you wanna add there, cool. And I ultimately implore you or suggest that you create a custom domain. So let's say that I had a link tree. It could be Adam Ivy Links. It could be uh, meet Adam Ivy. It could be connectwithme.com, like things that are available over on GoDaddy or whatever. Again, I don't have an affiliate link, but I will have a link to GoDaddy down below my profile or my this video, just so that you guys can go over there and start searching domains. Now, if you're a first time user, a lot of these times you can actually get a URL, a domain name for like three bucks to $12. And this is going to be very beneficial to you in the future because guess what? When you have a new release on Spotify, and you have this long, blah, 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 it's like four lines of a URL. It's not going to be conducive to somebody actually clicking it or remembering to do it. But if Jim Johnson Chiropractic, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking of like funny brandable marketing URLs. If he, do, if he cracks people's back for a living and his URL was, I got cracked.com or I got cracked.com, then what, what Jim Johnson could do is he could have his, uh, YouTube channel with adjustments and explaining what the process is. He could have a link to free consultations or uh, you know free first adjustments. He could have a link to his testimonials page on his website or just his website. You get what I'm saying? Or he could even have a link to a Spotify playlist that he curated that's relaxing, right? Calming things that he's promoting to his uh, clients and people that he hopes to become clients that would give a little bit more value on top of what he actually does as a business. What is your call to action? Is it just a one link? Do you have a link tree? And do you have a custom domain? Let me know in the comments below. Now, the last thing that's super important with all of this is making sure that you have curated Instagram story highlights. That's what they're called, almost forgot. What we wanna do is we wanna create a highlight uh, preview image 
So it kind of gives a real professional look. And actually on the screen right now, I'll show you a few examples of this, mine included. And I can show you how to do that. If you want me to do a full tutorial on how to create really flashy, really professional looking uh, Instagram story highlight album cover art things, let me know in the comments below and I'd love to do that for you. What you wanna do is you wanna have different representations of what you are or what you offer, who you are. Let's say you're a music producer. Let's say that you have music right here. Let's say that you're also into drum kits. You have a couple drum kits. And let's say that you're also into uh, doing vocal tags. Let's say that you're a voiceover guy like my buddy Donovan. You can have a microphone there. And then ultimately when they click on any of these three little buckets, and you can have a whole bunch. You don't just have three, but ultimately you're only gonna see three, two or three, maybe four, um, no, three, four, maybe five, depending on the device. But ultimately when they click on that, maybe you have some beats available. Maybe you have some beat making videos. Maybe when you click on that, you have some previews or you have some images that you at one point posted here to your stories that you then saved and they're available forever down there for people to discover you and get more information. Think about a business card. Now think about if you handed somebody a business card and it had multiple pages on it without them having to do anything. That's what these are. Now, if you had vocals, you could have examples of that. Ultimately, you want them to discover you, see who you are, gain their attention so that they care who you are, go down to a call to action, engage with you, take an action that's going to link them back to you, solidify a relationship, and then do business with you. And doing business doesn't have to be monetary, guys. Doing business could be listening to your song over on Spotify. Uh, business with you could be subscribing to you on Instagram. It's all about that action. It's all about that boom, okay. I got them. Maybe you have a, a call to action to go over and enter your email on the email list. And in return, I'm going to give you a guide on five different stretches that you can do at home for back and neck health. If you were a chiropractor, maybe you're a producer and you say, you know what, if you sign up to my mailing list right now, I'm going to give you a, a cheat sheet on 10 ways to record in your bedroom. That's going to make you sound more professional and how to get five beats for free just for signing up. Something along those lines, because everything underneath the fold, as we call it in marketing, Everything underneath this bio doesn't matter if this bio is whack as fuck. The content underneath has to be a great representation of this and you have to be a great representation of what that content represents in your life. This is the about you section. This is who you are, why people should care. I wanna know in the comments below if you have yours all locked in and actually leave your Instagram handle. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do a brand audit on a few of you guys. I wanna connect with you over on Instagram. But before you do, I wanna know that you're gonna pay attention to your bio. So in the, in the comments below, say, I'm about to clean up my bio. Just like I wrote it on the screen right there. I'm about to clean up my bio. And I think that this is really going to help you in a few weeks when you start seeing a difference. I also want you to send me a DM or send me an email. All my contact information is in the description box below to let me know the result, let me know. Side note, if you have your profile on private, that's the first no-no. I can't make enough videos stressing this enough. If it's on private, take it off private. If you wanna be seen, you need to be able to be seen, okay? Come connect with me over on Instagram. I want you to click this video next. If you like growing on Instagram, this is gonna be fire for you. And then I want you to join the channel family by clicking that little subscribe button in the lower corner. Then smash that bell icon so you can be notified first anytime I upload a video just like this. Don't make, don't 